There are many drunk cards in the Yokai Watch universe. Greasel, Lizaria, Lady Lawn Neck, but the most famous is the one holding the picture in both Yokai Watch 3 and evolving in a character in Shadow Side, then digressing a little bit in 4. Shuten Doji. First introduced in Yokai Watch 3 as a different variant, Thurston is a S rank fire attribute classic yokai that belongs to the mysterious tribe whose favorite food is tempura. His blurb reads, a demon lord once bested by humans, now his strict training regimen keeps him on a steady diet of healthy foods and drinks. This gets expanded to, Thurston is the leader of a huge demonic horde and was once known for being quite the drinker. After too many painful defeats while under the influence however, he now refuses to touch anything stronger than a sports drink. Thurston can be found in the Krankakai with yellow or tempura coins. He can also be fought on Ambrosia Pavilion, Hazy Lane, and on the fourth tower during the Tower of Enlightenment. He is one of the yokai required in the seals to unlock Dan Doodle, and though he attained his same rankings in the status in Puni Puni and Wibwab, he was introduced very differently in both games. In Yokai Watch Puni Puni, he was first obtainable through the Terror Time event, introduced with Kitty Lumbus, Total Demon, Arachna Evil, and Platinos. He later became obtainable through events in the point shops, the Dream GV3 coins, Goku coins, and almost any event that included Oni in it. In Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble, he was introduced through a very different event at the time than the event in Puni Puni. He was introduced through the Chocolate Collecting Challenge, in which he and Shuri Kenny were the only ones to replace Gleam and Smashable. Though sadly later on, Shooten would not be obtainable in Wibble Wobble, as it would be shut down. Next, we move on to the well-known variant of Thurston, Shuten Doji. This variant from Yokai Watch 4 is known as Shuten Doji Shadow Side from Yokai Watch Shadow Side and Yokai Watch 4. Shuten Doji Shadow Side is also a S rank fire attribute yokai that belongs in the new tribe introduced in Yokai Watch 4, the Onizuka or Oni Tribe, a tribe which once hailed from Yokai World before the Enmas until Soranaki almost wiped them clean from the existence. His blurb reads, a yokai who inherited the blood of an ancient Oni tribe and operated behind the scenes in the yokai world's underground community. He once possessed an unusual disposition of discarding a comrade's life if deemed necessary for his goals. Shuten Doji, also like Doketsu, has the power to transform into a human name, and I'm sorry for butchering this, Haruya Sakami. His blurb reads, Shuten Doji disguises his form to find the princess, and while in a human body, he's concealing his tremendous magic. In truth, he enjoys Doketsu struggling as the school teacher. Shuten Doji can be obtained through playing the story in Yokai Watch 4, and will be your friend in Chapter 8. In Puni Puni, he was an event limited SSS ranked Shadow Side Yokai that belonged in the Brave Tribe. He was first obtainable through one of the worst events in the game, the Ohajiki, but then became available throughout events that would host Shadow Side Yokai and certain coins, Famitsu, and Kokoro. Now let's get to the names. For the names, Shuten Doji's English name is Thurston, which is a combination of thirst, referring to Shuten Doji's name meaning little drunk card and his alcoholic tendencies, and the name Kirsten. His Japanese name is Shuten Doji, which means little drunk card. His French name, Sodartha, comes from Soda, which is Soda, and Siddhartha, which is the name that the Buddha bore during his lifetime. This also goes with the origins, as some tales for this great yokai tell him of being a monk serving the Buddha. His Italian name, Sobron, comes from the male word Sobria, which means sober, which in a way connects to how this version of Shuten was a drunk card, and this one went sober. His German name, Safuel, is literally just drunk card. His Chinese name, oh boy, Ju Tu. Jiu Jiu Tun Tong Zi? Jiu Tun Tong Zi. Yeah, thank you. Translates to drunk boy. Lastly, his Spanish name is Iso Tomas. And I don't know what it translates to unless it's saying he's a homunculus or something. But, anyways, 
Let's move on to appearance. This is going to be the first time of many that I'm going to be analyzing a two-in-one character. First, let's take a look at the Masquerade version of Shuten Doji in Yokai Watch 3, Thurston. In Yokai Watch 3, Thurston's look is more to sport a humanoid Oni look than what we get later on. Sporting messy blonde hair with brown tips, canine teeth, claw-like hands and feet, a red mask with horns, a tan beaded necklace, a red vest with a teal sash, and blue Hakama pants. Of course, to qualify for a shooting doji look, you have to have the big old bowl and then the gourd too. But for this design, we're going to be looking at the main four items that stand out for this iteration, which is the Hakama pants, the tan beads, the red mask, and his human appearance. For the Hakama, there's an article in the Akito Journal that states, the Hakama pants are traditional Japanese pants, originally worn over a kimono by members of the higher classes of society. Its origin may be found in the Heian era, when women of the imperial court used to wear culottes as base layers of their kimono that look similar to a Hakama. However, it's during the Kamakura period that the warrior class began to wear Hakama commonly most as protection during horseback riding. The Akama then became the symbol of power as a standard outfit for nobles and samurai. Various forms appeared and the Hakama became one of the most common types of pants for the whole population. Though now throughout the modern era, Hakama are used for sports activities like Aikido, Kendo, Kyudo, they were also used for shrine maidens, priests, and sometimes monks. This ironically connects with Thurston in the way that Shuten was, as Shuten in some legends was a monk of a Buddhist temple in the Heian period, which in times the Hakama was worn. The Hakama may also take light in how Shuten was struck down, as he was killed by a samurai. A samurai we will get to in the origin. But talking about Shuten being a monk also talks about the second item of importance, the tan beads. The tan beads or prayer beads that he's wearing are called malas. These necklaces were used to aid in counting the numbers of repetitions of mantras or phrases. There are typically 108 in a string and there is usually a decorative tassel at the end of the strand. Now some believe that the number is seemingly random, but there are theories that exist that the number one represents God, zero stands for humility, and eight represents the infinite symbol. Others believe that malas become what is intended by the wearer, and it is these intentions which create energy and synergy. This brings up the last two important items, the red mask and the human appearance. Though the mask is supposed to tie into the Mount Abuki origin of Thurston where he wore a ritual Oni mask and started to change into the Oni, the human appearance gives more of a stance of what the change looks like mid-appearance with claw-like features, the sharp teeth, and the bushy hair, showing that he's going through a monstrous change, but his humanity is slightly intact. This may also connect with the behavior of the Oni, as said in the yokai fandom, occasionally when a human is so utterly wicked that their soul is beyond any redemption, they transform into an Oni during their life and remain on earth to terrorize the living. These transform Onis are the ones who most legends tell about and are the ones who possess the most danger to humankind. On to why the color of the mask is red, over at Tropopedia it explains a bit about the red oni's personalities. This is something that may fit Thurston, as it says, the red oni is associated with passion, wilderness, and defiance. A red oni character is often more brawny than brainy, extroverted, enthusiastic, determined, and filled with a zest for life. They're also much more likely to break conventions and rules than their counterparts. Often an idiot hero, or in more mature pieces, a boisterous bruiser. If a red oni is indeed noticeably intelligent, 
they will still be much more impetus than the blue oni and slash or with less sophisticated thoughts, feelings, or goals. When a goal-oriented villain, the red oni will often be axe crazy and psychotically willing to sacrifice any innocent lives to accomplish their goals. A more affably evil red oni tends to be a blood knight. Generally speaking, they are more people-oriented than goal-oriented, although they can be both. They may or may not shrug off criticism about themselves or their aims and goals, but say or do something nasty to their closest friends, and you've guaranteed yourself a world of pain. In terms of character alignment, the Red Oni tends towards chaotic, though this isn't always the case. So 30 years down the line, after the end of movie credits 4, we get introduced to another Shuten. And my god, is he glorious. Here, Shuten's appearance has changed with him having dark gray skin, markings on his forearms and shoulders, red, long, slightly messy hair, golden tips on his horns, earrings, a black shirt that reads heaven in kanji, a gold cuff necklace, once again blue hakama pants, and to top it off a tassel rope with two masks that's wrapped around with beads on it. The same beads that seem to be on his left foot with another set of beads on his right foot. But still, he keeps the Gordon Bowl to get plastered every time in battle. Now for his design here, the major components we're going to talk about are the gourd, the bowl, the two masks, the tasseled rope with beads, the gold cuff necklace, and maybe besides the beads on his foot, the circular design on the Hakama pants. First off, the gourd and the bowl. This is an essential item found in every Shuten Doji design and drawing for this yokai, and is used for their drunk card tendencies. Calabat, which is also known as a bottled gourd, white flowered gourd, long melon birdhouse gourd, new guinea bean, and Tasmania bean. This is native to tropical Africa, but is cultivated in warm climates around the world for its ornamental and useful hard-shelled fruits. When ripe, it is edible, and it is usually cooked as a vegetable, but can also be made into a water bottle, dippers, spoons, pipes, and many other utensils and containers. It can also be made into a birdhouse, lamp, fancy ornament, and musical instrument. Additionally, the vine's showy white flowers and dense foliage make it a popular screen and ornamental plant. Now, while I wanna say that's milk in his bowl, the cup that he has is a sake cup. And this may be based on one of the oldest styles of a sake cup, the sakazuki, a wide mouth flat sake vessel that continues to be a ceremonial favorite. The cup is usually lifted and taken to the mouth with two hands, one at the bottom and one on the side, in a dramatic yet symbolic ceremonial consumption of sake, usually and only variably in sizes. The sakazuki contains only a few sip within and has an amazing decoration. The sakazuki is usually made from porcelain but can also be found in gold, silver, glass, earthenware, and lacquer. When the cup is used, the most common practice is to first pour to the other person and accept the other person's offer to pour as well. This etiquette is a way to demonstrate understanding for needs of others, as well as the expression of hospitality. Next, you have the tassels Okamameni and Oni no Ahana mask. For the tassels, they might have a connection to the mala in terms of spiritual purpose. For tassels, they can serve as talisman and symbols of power, protection, prestige, and spiritual connection. The tassels can also symbolize our connection to the divine and the inherent of one's reality. This can also symbolize the fourth state of Turiya, Prana, Makasha, with the colors Red symbolizes Kundalina Shakti, power, passion, desire, sexuality, and love. This color activates the first or root chakra, Muladhara, located in the base of the spine. It is the foundation for the physical structure and the energy of the body. This chakra is associated with the earth element, linked to the ability to dig and feel firmly rooted in life. The next color, yellow symbolizes personal power, self-esteem, willfulness, and energy. The color activates the second primary or sacral chakra, 
Swadhisthana. The function for this chakra is center of pleasure and overall enjoyment of life. When this chakra is balanced and functioning properly, you can experience harmonious, pleasant, and nurturing life. This is also associated with the element of water, as the water element is all about flow, flexibility, and freedom of expression when it comes to emotions and sensuality. And with that, we move on to the two masks, the Okami Mini and Oni Noahana Mask. The Okama or Otafuka, whichever one you want to call it, is the face or mask of a woman who has a short nose and swollen round cheeks. It is said that the name was chosen because the shape of her swollen cheeks look like a va. For the meaning, Okame means tortoise, the lucky symbol for long life. Otafuka means good fortune. The origins of this mask is said to be from the goddess of entertainment, Ame no Azume or Ame no Uzume no Mikoto. She was part of the celestial gods and goddesses of the Shinto Japanese mythology and performed a spontaneous dance to entice the sun goddess Amaterasu out of a cave because she had secluded herself into there to deprive the world of light. It is also said that she became the wife of Sarutahiko Omaki, the god of crossroads and the embodiment of male sexuality. Though the origin of the mask hasn't changed due to base opinions and even for where the naming came from. For Okame, this came to the conclusion that it came from the name Miko which translates to Shrine Maiden. There is an opinion that delivered from the meaning of many fortunes, but another opinion is that it came from the name of the fish, Fugu, or Blowfish, because of the mass swollen cheeks are similar to that of a puffer fish. There is also a folktale at Senban Shakadu, now known as Dai Hunji Temple, that a woman named Okame, the wife of a master carpenter who killed herself after her husband made the mistake of coming to her for help, committed suicide in order to protect his honor slash reputation before anyone could realize what transpired. Now, originally, it was believed that plain looking women with fat and well looking bodies could be the amulet to ward off evil and was thought of beauty. However, this word would be later looked as a derogatory term. As of now though, the mask is used to play a comical woman in Sato Kagura and is often played with Hiatoko as a pair. Next, the Oni Noa mask. Now there are different variants for the Noa mask, but for this we're going to be looking at the Oni Demon Devil variant of the mask. This is one of the oldest masks in Japan that was used to portray a devil and create disasters or cause plagues, used to ward off spirits that exude malice, hatred, or bad luck, receive protection, and sometimes evade detection from certain spirits. Think of it like a mask in the Breath of the Wild or Majora's Mask, kind of. The name of this type of mask derives from Hanabo, a monk artist who was said to have perfected the mask. Hana is a Buddhist word signifying wisdom. The Hana mask is only used to portray female characters. The upper half expresses the character's state of distress, while the lower half displays uncontrolled animal-like anger. In the case of the plays Ayo no Yue or Dojoji, the mask expresses the resentment of the woman that has been abandoned by her lover. Though less subtle than young woman mask, Hanya is capable of producing a range of emotions. The expression is frightening when the actor lowers the mask, pointing the horns at the waki who tries to exorcise the demon. However, when raising the mask, it produces an expression of great distress, almost a desperate call for help. Different types of Hanya masks, white or red all over and white above, red below, may be used for different roles. Now, it's very hard to establish which masks that we're referring to because of how comical level five draws some of their yokai. But the mask, I think the design is a combination of these masks. We've got the Samurai Hanya, Onryo Hanya, Kinpaku Hanya, Daijia, Kendi Hanya, or Kinde Hanya, I don't know how you say it, Angel Hanya, Angel Hanya White, and Shutin Doji. That's just Shutin Doji with a Y. Okay. All right. With that, all that's left is the beads and cuffs, which 
mostly just tie into Shuten's Buddhist ways as a monk for his origin and may tie into Shuten's goals. Shuten's human form is that of your stereotypical shonen anime beauty, but at 13 years old. But where this feels redundant, this appearance is based on his Echigo legend. It is said in the legend, by the age of 12 or 13, his beauty was beyond comparison, causing many women to fall in love with him. But he rejected all of them, and they all died of love sickness. God damn. He burned the love letters sent from those women, and with the women bitter, and not being able to convey their feelings because their feelings was burnt, the smoke covered him and changed him into an oni. As an oni, Shuten Doji roamed around the mountains in Honsu, the main island of Japan, and finally settled in Mount Oi, according to the legend. He also has a change in form in Forever Friends where he gains a breastplate, tiger pelt, Shinto beams on his neck, and besides the mass placement move, the heaven emblem has also been placed on the left side of his cloak. By the way, the heaven symbol, Yes, it refers to his Buddhist ways, but it's just gonna keep on getting redundant. This outfit may be based on the samurai outfit as tiger pelts were once a status symbol for samurai during the Japanese failed invasion of Korea, which banned hunting tigers after samurai started to get killed. This also may be a reference to a little samurai that killed him, which we'll get to later again. Both. Thurston and Shuten have alternate forms and variants, each appearing in mobile games. Thurston's variant is Dracula Doji. This is a fan-made reincarnation yokai that hails from the mysterious tribe that is Z-Rank. His blurb reads, after being hijacked by Western culture, Thurston reincarnated into a vampire turned drinker, but the lure of wine was so pungent that he had to take a sip. He's now addicted to it. Now he knows as much as a sommelier, some, 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 what the f is this word? He first appears in the event Shogunyan Future, Reborn Punito Shot. That is a long title. <laughs> Obtainable as of now, only in the reincarnated yokai gotcha until the Nyambo or a coin comes. This is unfortunately the only form different Thurston has. Shuten, on the other hand, has two and a half forms in Puni Puni, and they are two of the same variants in Sangu Koshi. They are. I want to stop this real quick. By the way, as I was recording this, and I know this video is delayed, but as I was recording this, they released the form of him being a like demon king or whatever. I don't remember what it was. He was a knight. But yeah, just wanted to say that out there. I know, I know. Shuten Doji Awaken, the one I like to call the half form, a Z rank powered up version of Shuten Doji. Though I've got to say, it's not like we've seen this kind of form before. I mean, this is this is really special. This is one of a one of a kind, man. I mean, like putting aura on a yoke. Summer Shuten. The first ZZ rank for Shuten that was only, and probably still will only be obtainable through the scam of the Nyambo. I mean, I'm sorry, Super Summer Nyambo, gotcha. King Shuten Doji. The second ZZ rank for Shuten, obtainable through the event, Shogi Knight vs. Bishop. Wait, is this Japanese chess? Oh, it's a gate of whimsy. He can be obtainable in the event after defeating him 10 times through the Knight's Room event, as if that was possible without event yokai though. Alternatively, he can be obtainable through Shogi coins, the celebration coins for downloads and anniversary, and probably later down the line beside Shogi events that God <laughs> need all these forms except for Shogi form is in Sangokushi, where his original form is S rank, and the other forms are the equivalent of S rank, the Shosei or Shorin. Now let's tread on to the origin. Thurston and Shuten Doji are based on one of the three deadliest yokai known to exist, Shuten Doji, whose name translates to little drunk card or alcoholic. Though, with fame comes confusion as there are many legends that shaped Shuten Doji differently from when he was born to how he turned into an oni and how he acted as an oni. But one thing still remained out of every origin story, who he was slayed by. That's gotta hurt. The origin goes, 
Shuten Doji was not born an Oni. There are many stories of how he came to be, but most of them say that he was originally a human boy who was born over a thousand years ago, either in present day Shiga or Toriyama. His mother was a human woman and his father was the great dragon, Yamato no Orochi. How he changed from boy to demon varies greatly from story to story, but one of the popular versions goes like this. There was a young boy who was supernaturally strong and abnormally intelligent for his age. Everyone around him constantly called him a demon child due to his incredible strength and wit, and he gradually became terribly antisocial and resentful of others. At age six, even his own mother abandoned him. Orphaned, he became an apprentice priest at Mount Hie in Kyoto. Naturally, he was the strongest and the smartest of the young acolytes and he grew resentful of them as well. He slacked off on his studies as a result and got into fights. He also fell into drinking, which was forbidden to monks. However, he could go out drinking anyone and everyone who was willing to sit down and drink against him. Because of his fondness for alcohol, he became known as Shuten Doji, the little drunk heart. One night, there was a festival at the temple and Shuten Doji showed up very drunk. He put on an oni mask and went around playing pranks on the priests, jumping out from the darkness to scare them and such. At the end of the night, he tried to take the mask off, but found he couldn't to his horror, and it had fused with his body. He fled into the mountains where he would no longer have interact with other humans, whom he saw weak, foolish, and hypocritical. He lived there on the outskirts of Kyoto for many years, stealing food and alcohol from villagers and drinking vast quantities of alcohol. His banditry eventually attracted a group of thieves and criminals who stuck with him loyally and became the foundation for his game. Living in exile, Shuten Doji grew in power and knowledge. He mastered strange dark magic and taught it to his thugs. He met another demon child like him named Ibaraki Doji who became his chief servant. Over time, the young man and his game gradually transformed into Oni, and eventually he had a whole clan of Oni and young thugs who prowled the highways, terrorizing the people of Kyoto in a drunken rage. He and his gang eventually settled in Mount O, where in a dark castle, he plotted to conquer the capital and rule as emperor. Shuten Doji and his gang rampaged through Kyoto, capturing noble virgins, drinking their blood and eating their organs raw. Finally, a band of heroes led by the legendary warrior Minamoto no Yorimitsu assaulted Shuten Doji's palace and with the help of some magic poison, were able to assault the Oni band during a bout of heavy drinking. They cut off the drunken Shuten Doji's head, but even after cutting it off, the head continued to bite at Minamoto no Yorimitsu. Because the head belonged to an Oni, and was unholy. It was buried outside the city limit at the mountain pass called Oyinosaka. The cup and bottle of poison that Minamoto no Yorimitsu used are said to be kept at Nairiaiji Temple in Kyoto for the birth of Shuten Doji. Many provinces have been telling different things of how Shuten came to be. According to this legend of Shuten Doji, he was born in the province of Echigo in the early Heian period, a contemporary of a famous Japanese Buddhist leader, Dinkyo Hoshi and Kobo Dayashi, and became a page of the Kukujoji temple. For this legend, I'm gonna skip this because we already know I covered this in this human form already, basically. Burned up papers that were sent from love letters, love letters, from the bitter woman and the anger turned into a oni and then he fled to the mountains yeah uh but anyways i have another echigo legend anyway in this legend he was born as the son of a blacksmith in the echigo province spent 16 months in his mother's womb started walking and speaking like a five or six year old boy immediately after delivered but was strong and intelligent as a 16 year old by the age of four and was detested by all the villagers who nicknamed him an Oni-like child or Oniko because of his abnormal wit and rough nature. According to the Zen Taiheki, a historical epic story mainly depicting samurai heroes in the Heian period, he was abandoned by his mother at the age of six, wandering around various places and chose the life of an Oni. We've then got the Mount Abuki legend, which born to a human mother and Yamato no Orochi, Shuten Doji underwent training as a Buddhist temple page at Mount Hiei, but 
he was detested by his fellow pages as he drank and drank heavily, an act prohibited by the Buddhist rule. One day, he wore a ritual mask to a Buddhist fete, found that the mask could not be removed after the fete no matter how hard he tried, and he had to hide deep in the mountains and lead his life as an only. According to this legend, he then met Ibaraki Doji, and they decided to go up to Kyoto together. Next we've got the Mount Oe town legend, which states, the Oni were a group of outlaws who rampaged through Kyoto from the Heian to Kamakura period and were believed to be based on Oecho, an area covering up today's Nishikyo ward and Ukyo ward of Kyoto city and neighboring Oji Shinocho, Kamikoka city, a hilly area that was once called Mount Oe. The area is traditionally considered to be the border between Kyoto and the outside world, and the place is generally considered to be the Mount Oe, where Shuten is believed to have lived. Now, last time we talked about Ibaraki Doji in a Doketsu video, and this is a figure who raised havoc in Kyoto together with Shuten. There are also various stories to describe what Ibaraki did and what she or he looked like. But even more so was the confusion on Ibaraki's relationship with Shuten. Some thought Shuten and Ibaraki were commanders in arms. Some thought Shuten and Ibaraki were in a relationship, whether male or female. And there are some stories where they are Shuten Doji's son or even distant cousin or friend. Whoever they were in the legend, they came to know Shuten Doji and agreed to go to Kyoto together Whatever the case, it was often known that Shuten was Japan's strongest oni and became one of Japan's trio of heinous specters. Now let's see what Shuten is doing to the media. There is a wide range out there for Shuten Doji. So where exactly do we start? Oh I know, Age of Ishtaria. This was a mobile game introduced in 2014 developed by Silicon Studios. In the game, players create a team of powerful units and take part in battles against monster enemies and other players. In the game, Shuten is a girl and goes through some weird bouts from drinking, sobering up, destroying Setsuban, to chilling in the hot spring. And don't worry, cause this ain't the only game on the list from Silicon where they would use this yokai. Akame Ga Kill. Akame Ga Kill focuses on Tatsumi, a young villager who travels to the capital to raise money for his home, only to discover strong corruption in his area. The assassin group known as Night Raid recruits the young man to help them fight against their corrupt empire. In the series, there is a group called the Imperial Fist Temple for Rakshasa Demons, also known as the Rakshasa Demons, which were skilled warriors in the employ of the Prime Minister Onnit. Shuten, or Sten, I guess what he's called in the English version, is a counterpart to Shuten because I guess his strength name and the clan he's in? Look, I'm stretching here, but it's more than I can say. He looks like a Mishima, okay? Ayakashi Ghost Guild. We talked about this game before. From Zynga, a game about collecting demons, but mostly enjoying stories about certain demons and the conflict in their universe. In the game, she has five different forms, each with their own blurb. Her blurb reads, Japan's most powerful demon who lives in the Oyama mountain in the old Tanpa province, governing over a pack of several hundred demons and striking fear into the hearts of those in the neighboring city. She is very partial to drinking, but even more than that, she likes Ibaraki Doji. Of late, she acquired a taste for parfait as well. She has something of a regal air about her and remains unflappable. Her important position, she feels, make it shameful to make her true feelings known. Her Tanabata form reads, The Demon King Shuten Doji is just as imposing in space as she is on solid ground, and no sooner does she arrive at the festival than the crowd parts ways to let her pass. It may also be her looks that draw admiring glances, though she is completely oblivious to this. 
Her Halloween form reads, No sooner does she turn up on Halloween than a mountain of candy appears to placate her. She doesn't even have the time to say trick or treat. It goes to show that her demonic reputation precedes her wherever she goes. To be honest, she's happy to claim the candy without having to ask. Her anniversary form reads, Japan's most powerful demon who lives in Oyama Mountain in Old Tanpa province, governing over a pack of several hundred demons and striking fears into the hearts of those in the neighboring capital city. Everyone was permitted a free drink at the party, but Ibaraki Doji made her sneak in a bottle of sake anyway, which they knocked back when no one was looking. Her wild form reads, Japan's most powerful demon, who lives in Oyama Mountain in Old Tampa province, governing over a pack of several hundred demons and striking fear into the hearts of those in the neighboring city. It loves a drink, and when it's feeling tipsy, likes to capture young girls, take them home, and eat them as snacks. It's an earnest sort, and always makes sure to thank those who come to capture him before murdering them. A heartliner, it hates nothing more than half measures. Fantastica. Ah, another game from Silicon Studios featuring turn-based battles, recruitable characters, massive story content, and is a gacha game. In the game, Shuten is a 12-star beauty who also had a version for Age of Ishtaria. Sadly though, they would close down as of March of 2019, and I guess they're focusing on Ishtaria now. Futsatsuki a series written by Kei Shimojima. In the novel, Shuten Doji was talked into mending his ways by Seimei Abe and together with Raiden, kept the evil spirits under control. He looks like an ordinary young man in his late teens or early 20s. He is an impulsive doyer who puts actions before thinking. This is a stark contrast to the character of Raiden. He also thinks more of others than himself and is very friendly and admirable. He speaks the Kansai dialect. Fate Grand Order One of my favorite gacha games about history and historical figures in the game, Shuchin Doji is an assassin class servant who appears as female. When summoned, she says, She wears a golden ornament with a green jewel, has horns and an extremely long kimono sash, but mostly is almost naked throughout most of her ascension. She also carries a bowl with fruit and three gourds on her waist, one containing sake, one containing nothing, but probably water, and one containing a purple burst of liquid, which could be poison as she uses it through her noble phantasm. She first appears in Rashomon, and then on becomes a berserker during the events of Shimosa Singularity, and an idol during the Halloween event, Gay 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 no Kitaro. I feel like anytime I make a Yokai Origin series, this series has to be a priority. Shuchin Doji first appears in the 2018 anime in a flashback episode, episode 69 <laughs> of the sixth anime. As a large oni with pointy ears, wild hair, beard, prominent fangs, and a pair of horns. He is known to be a demon lord of Mount Oe and the father of Ibuki Mari, also known as the Kido, an oni of the four treasonous generals. Go over my dead body. This is a JRPG where demons were invading and it was up to you to save the world as Shuten was under the rule. It seems to be a good game, though as it got a sequel that went ahead and said screw you game, we're doing something new. I wonder if that's how the Persona series feels when Shin Megami Tensei does that. Ichiban Ketsu. I'm still confused at what this game is. It has the gameplay that Raid Shadow Legend has, but less scummy, I guess. In the game, Shuten is someone's otome dream and his blurb reads, the Oni of Yayurozu world, violent and extremely fond of sake. He ravaged the capital of Kyoto and kidnapped young women. The aspiration of other Oni, he has an attractive face and figure, 
With his beauty, the women around continuously advance towards him, but just that wasn't enough as he goes on a rampage, drinks too much sake, and tend to ruin himself. Kaido Maru The story takes place during the Heian period of Japan's history, when evil spirits still reside in the forests, mountains, and rivers. A girl accompanied by her loved one battles against these evil spirits while she is disguised as a man, a man known as Sakata Kintoki. And just like another series, Shuten is a woman who is madly in love with Sakata so much that she dresses up as a princess and burns the city to kidnap and be with Sakata once again, unbeknownst to her that Sakata is now a girl. Common Rider In Common Rider, Hibiki, Super Doji, and Hime are main antagonists of the second half of the series. They wear Heian era uniforms and have a desire to taste Oni blood. Kinikuman Ah, now this is the four kids era. Before there was Yokai Watch, there was a wrestling parody known as Kinikuman or Ultimate Muscle Legends vs. New Generation. This was a series where you had gazelles, Nazis, toilets, a butt man, a stereotypical Asian, and his name was Ramen Man. It got even more weirder with Mongol Man, which if you don't get that, you might want to look in the history books or an episode of South Park. God damn it, how come every time us Chinese put up a wall, stupid Mongolians have to come and knock it down? The series also spawned some of the best and weirdest game moves and jokes, ironically. What a brat! If my son talked like that, I'd beat him to within an inch of his life. I'd whip him senseless with my belt. I'd hold his head in the toilet till he was begging for mercy. I still don't see why the judge cut off my visitation rights. Ooh, that's a good one. Now, the old series had a movie where they were traveling to the Edo period to stop shooting from kidnapping a girl. And how do they do that? Wrestling. And though I wish I could show you the footage, I can't find some. Legendary, Armor, Samurai Troopers, or Ronin Warriors, or Samurai Saint Seiya, is that you? After a thousand years of exile, the demon emperor Arago returns to claim the earth as his own, attacking Tokyo Metropolitan War Shinjuku first. The ones who appear to confront his demon army are the five young men, known as Samurai Troopers, who wear mystical suits of armor. I swear to God, this is Saint Se Anubis is a former leader of a group called the Dark Warlord. He's known as the Dark Warlord of Cruelty. He broke free from the dynasty's evil and succeeded the ancient one as the Ronin Warrior's guide, Momotaru Densetsu. This was the role-playing game based on the character Momotaro, the peach boy from the Japanese folklore as well as other Japanese characters such as Kintaro, Urashima Taro, and Princess Kaguya. In the game, Shuten Doji appears as one of the boss characters in the story, and its sequel, Shin Momotaro Densetsu. Shuten Doji is depicted as a rival of the hero rather than the villain. Monster Strike. Not gonna lie, I thought this was Puzzles and Dragons for a second. Shuten Doji appears to be obtainable how Puzzles and Dragons Shuten will be obtainable through a dungeon. Demon of Oi. Based on the novel of the same name, it combines many folklore from Japanese mythology, one being Shuten Doji. The movie helped Dae gain traction to even helping Gamera and the Yokai Wars. Neo 2. Koei Tecmo's Dark Souls with Yokai. Shuten appears as a human with only traits, but one thing still shows besides the tenacity he shows throughout the fight, his drunken state, and the fire it gives him. Nobunaga's Ambition. Another Koei Tecmo game. This is a turn-based strategy game set during the Japanese Warring States period, which tasks the player of achieving Oda Nobunaga's goal, the conquest and unification of Japan. Shuten appears with the online adaption of the series using a traditional interpretation. In the MMORPG, the players would be asked by town folks to challenge him due to the pillage Shuten would do in the area, and once defeated, Shuten and his band of Onis will sustain their thieving ways. Yugari no Yuna-san, or Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. The series follows the life of the luckless and homeless high school student Kogarashi. Fuyuzora. In the search for a home, he is introduced to the Yuragi Inn, 
a cheap boarding house and former hot spring inn. The reason the rent is so cheap is because it was haunted by the beautiful ghost spirit Yuna, whose corpse was discovered at the inn. Kogarashi then helps Yuna with her unfinished business all while discovering the supernatural secrets of the rest of the female tenants. Nonko Arabaki, birth name Nonko Yonozaka, is a former member of the Yonozaka, who is one of the three big families in the residence of the Yuragi Inn. In the show, she appears as a voluptuous slender beauty with pink hair, a huge chest, and a marking where her horn appears when in Oni form. In Oni form, her skin hair and eyes change while the mark grows into a horn. She also has a spiritual armor from where she wears a seductive dark armor. She's the drunk of this series but also draws manga. She also has Katsuragi syndrome as she considers her breast her charm. And she ain't lying cause she has the biggest bust out of them all and she's the tallest of them all. Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan. This is another series that I'm wondering when we'll collaborate with. Shuten Doji was the leader of Oni and Kyoto who adopted Ibaraki Doji as his son. He was killed by the Nue and a grave marker for him was erected on one side of Ibaraki Doji's face. If the grave marker breaks, half of Shuten Doji's face becomes visible besides his son. Oh, that that's what that, okay, that, I, I get it. That did seem weird to me that he had a piece of wood on his face. I just never got to that episode. One Piece. We all know this is the Simpsons of anime, right? Well, once we get to the four emperors, we discover Kaida, one of the four emperors and governor general of the beast pirates who can transform into Azur Dragon thanks to his devil fruit. Now I'm not going to spoil much but it's more confusing that Yamato is his daughter, not because she doesn't look the part, but the name, even though it's Yamato. I know what you're doing One Piece. Onigiri. Oh boy, let's take a trip down to memory lane and these PS1 graphics. I hate this game so much. This has big titties, PS1 graphics, poor customizations that make Pokemon look immaculate. And that's ridiculous I'm saying this because Arceus was trash. As you can tell, I hate this game. I really do. Now I thought Shuten would be a girl, but surprise, surprise, it's a boy. His personality is that of an asshole, which I'm completely fine with. Your game's still trash though, you know that, right? Onimusha Warlords. I decided to include this not because I know anything about the game, but because there is a video that you should watch if you play this game where they talk about the parallels to the story of Onimusha and Shuten Doji. Onmyoji. It's, again, another mobile game. Shuten Doji is an SSR and is sometimes seen with his main squeeze, Ibaraki Doji. Voiced by Shuhei Sakaguchi, who is famous for voicing Jugo from Naruto, Will from Foster's Home, of imaginary friends and no 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 number five wait what this blurb reads sake wa hyakudoku no chou to hito wa yu ga ore wa so wa omoane ore ni totte sake wa hyakuyaku no chou da issho ni sake wo nomi ya so itsu no shounen made miye te kuru sake wo nomane yatsu ra wo mite miro nan to tsumaran koto yo enma no yaro wa mada ano yo ka Otogi Myth of Demons, a hack and slash video game that follows the executioner Raiko Minamoto as he attempts to purge the demons that have overrun Japan and restore the great seal that kept them at bay. In the game, Shuten Doji is his rival and also makes his guest appearance in Otogi 2, Immortal Warriors, in which the main character, Abe Seimei, and the four retainers of Raiko are added. Otogi Spirit Agents, God damn it! I already did this game. The game that involves using daemons to fight for something, something I still do not know. Shuten in the game has two forms, his bridegroom form and his third anniversary form, in which the bridegroom form reads, The spirit of the demon leader of Mount Oe, his feelings for his beloved Dojigiri Yatsusuna, 
triggered an evil energy outbreak and they had to throw together a last minute wedding to deal with it. Although there was no ceremony in the end, the two talked their feelings over and reaffirmed their vow to make each other happy. He also vowed in secret to earn his father's approval before the day they really do get married. His third anniversary form reads, a spirit transformed from the most powerful entity that is a leader figure for all spirits and demons in Japan. He was once a mighty demon that brought terror onto his world from his lair at Mount Oe. However, he was put into an extended slumber due to Minamoto no Yorimitsu's clever ambush. When he manifested in modern days, his terrible grudge drove him to exact revenge on mankind, but this was utterly humbled by Mikado Tsuchi Mikado as he finally tasted defeat. Just as he thought he would be put to a long slumber, he was surprised by the fact that Mikado not only had not sealed him away, instead chose to befriend him. This period of placid serenity helped him to find peace within his heart. Even though he can't find it in himself to show his true feelings in the presence of Mikado, he is extremely loyal to her and will even willingly give up his life for her sake. And it is thanks to Mikado that he managed to see heart to heart with Dojiri, his once sworn enemy. Still, if you want to play this game, it's also in the grave. Otogi Zoshi. Otogi Zoshi is a bunch of illustrated shorts which form one literary genres of Japanese medieval era. The stories got adapted into a TV and manga series, which was divided into two story arcs. The Heian chapter, which takes place in Kyoto during the Heian period and follows Minamoto no Hikaru, younger sister of Minamoto no Raiko, the slayer of Shuki Doji, and the Tokyo chapter, which follows the reincarnation of Hiraku and her comrades facing the ancient evils in present Tokyo. This was the series that converted Shuten to an unsympathetic asshole once he appeared to invade. Puzzles and Dragons Shuten in this game has a dungeon, and I can't see anything else because I think the site won't load it, but I guess here's gameplay in 240 quality right here. That's nice, that's very nice. Reciting with you in the glowing red world. This is another Otome game where you thrust it into another dimension where you can date Shinigami, priest, yokai, and other historical figures in Japan. Though I like Kitomaru or Domeki, especially their appearance designs, I just love that. Shuten, on the other hand, is a man of few words who has a cold personality even to his friend. Though, on the other hand, he will protect you with his life if he deems you important, which I'm guessing you can unlock that at the ending. I don't know about this game. I don't play many Otome games. Rolling Girls. The story takes place 10 years after the Great Tokyo War. Each prefecture in Japan has split up into independent nations. Each nation is ruled by a prophet called Mosa and an army called Mob. As they start to compete to take over the other country, four mob girls from the Saitama clan, Nozomi, Yukina, I, Chiaya, are ordered by their Mosa to travel around Japan riding their motorcycles to meditate multiple battles between nations and clans as they emerge. Shuten is the commander of Kyoto who punches very, very hard and is very, very, very Heian. Shadowverse. This is a strategic card game developed by the gods of gacha games. Side game. In the game, Shuten is a class shadow craft that looks like a traveler in ice. In his unevolved form, his blurb reads, As the people with breath in the flame, a demon spilled among them and cut them down one after another. His cruelty shook the very foundations of hell, which once he evolves, his blurb transfers to, He washes the blade in sake, not to honor the dead, but in preparation to add to the ranks. You have to be a monster yourself to summon a thing like that. Shin Megami Tensei. In the series, Shuten is a demon who's basically more of a hard set adaption of his original story, which the Shin Megami series does pretty well considering most yokai they have are colorful and eccentric and are hard adaptions too. Shuten Doji, also known as the Legend of Shuten Doji. This is a science fiction series created by Go Nagai, which the blurb from the story says, it's the 70s and it's a wedding a recipe for a disaster. Thus, a pair of Oni just sort of appear there, and the blue one quickly kills the other one. The living Oni then realize it forgot to bring a wedding gift, 
And so, wait, what? <laughs> okay. And so he loaned the couple a baby he just had with him for some reason. Why does he have a baby? It's just a loan though. And he will be back in 15 years to take it back. Instead of giving the baby to like the FBI or the Ghostbusters or something, they keep this thing and name him Jiro Shooting Dope. Get it? Now, being a demon baby and all, Jiro has some weird powers and his adopted dad figures, it would probably be a good idea to research his Oni so that he knows what the f*** is actually happening. 15 <laughs> This is actually a synopsis? 15 years come and go, and then the plot happens, and it involves a lot of space-time weirdness, violence, and titties. Especially titties. Who the f*** wrote Super Robot Wars? This is a spinoff of the Kampati series, which the main feature of the franchise is having a story that crosses with several mecha anime, manga, and video games, allowing characters and mecha from different titles to team up or battle. In Super Robot Warriors OG Saga Endless Frontier, why is that a title? In Super Robot Wars OG Saga Endless Frontier, Shuten is a boss in the series and is seeking a way to restore the Shiki Oni to their full power by any means necessary. He does see the errors of his ways and accepts not to destroy humans. Super Sentai In Super Sentai, which we Americans know as Power Rangers, Shuten Doji is used multiple times as the monster of the week as Shuten Doji. Brother, a pair of yokai in yokai army corps of ninja sentai kaku ranger and mighty morphin alien rangers super advanced yokai shooting doji super advanced yokai shooting doji in power rangers super ninja steel tengai makio 2 a role-playing game which is the second in the tengai makio series the setting starts in a beautiful country named jipong where the fire clan and roots clan have been rival over the centuries since the dawn of time good versus evil. The hometown of Manji Maru Sengoku, a descendant of the Fire Clan, is attacked by the Root Clan. He begins a long journey to save the world. Along the way, he will meet Danjiro, Taro, and Kinu to help him on his quest. Shuten Doji appears as the father of Kinu, a woman who is one of the descendants of the Fire Clan. Toho Project. Once again, the bullet hell shooter comes back to collide. Suika Ubuki is a main antagonist of Immaterial and Missing Power. She is the typical Oni that loves drinking and fighting, and just as the folktales say, she has two horns on her head that symbolize her Oni heritage, and enough physical strength to throw large boulders single-handedly. She is also the Shuten of this realm. Tokiden. This is a game which is Monster Hunter heavy and has yokai and Japan influence in it, until Monster Hunter Rise but this still takes over the cake. The game is set in the Shinto era, and the warriors known as the Mono no Fu, players in the localized version, specialize in fighting Oni and form a team to hunt them. As the protagonist obtains Yorimitsu's soul in Tokiden, the Age of Demons, he chats with him or her in a dream and briefly mentions Shuten Doji's death as one of the exploits for his previous life. This is the same Shuten that appeared in Nobunaga's Ambition and another one of our games which we will get to. Warriors Orochi This is a beat-em-up Musou game developed by Koei and Omega Force. It's a crossover of two of Koei's series, Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors. The fictional events from the game began when the Serpent King Orochi created a rift in time and space by creating a twisted new world and bringing together warriors from the Three Kingdoms area of China and the Warring State period of Japan. Orochi wished to test the might of these warriors of the two eras. In this romanticized version of the Three Kingdoms and Samurai Warriors, Shuten and his minions are feared as ravenous beasts who devoured people. This Shuten Doji was cleverly slammed by the legendary hero of the time era, Yu-Gi-Oh! In the card game Yu-Gi-Oh! Shuten Doji is a 4 star zombie type monster card that has the earth element. He has an effect that says, once per turn, you can activate one of the effects. Banish two zombie type monsters from your graveyard. Draw a card. Target one of your banished zombie type monsters. Place that target on top of your deck. When the synchro monster came, Shuten got an upgrade becoming a 6 star synchro monster, still with the same attribute, but his typing was changed from zombie 
to Machine. His name also changed from Shuten Doji to Super Heavy Samurai Ogre Shuten Doji. To summon this card, it requires one machine type tuner monster plus one or more non-tuner super heavy samurai monsters. The effect for this monster card is this card can attack while face up defense position. If it does, applies defense for damage calculation. When this card is synchro summoned while you have no spell or trap cards in your graveyard, you can destroy all spell or trap cards your opponent controls. Yu Yu Hakusho. This series follows Yusuke Yorameshi, a 14 year old street brawling delinquent who in an uncharacteristic act of altruism is hit by a car and killed in an attempt to save a young boy by pushing him out of the way. Chu is a friend slash ally of Yusuke Yorameshi and the former leader of team Roku Yuka during the Dark Tournament Saga. He is a practitioner of Drunken Fist Suken, a type of fighting style which one is skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat is increased when the more alcohol he drinks. He also can utilize his blood content of his alcohol of whatever is in his bloodstream and convert it to aura. With it, he can create balls of energy or create a barrier around himself. He also can have flights and teleport because anime, I guess drinking's good in anime. To conclude, though there are still stories that we need to find out about Shuten and hopefully down the line besides getting more iterations of Shuten for the media, hopefully we get a definitive edition of Shuten's story. I'm still amazed how noteworthy Shuten is, known to be a terror and how many changes his iteration has seen from his soft side to the humanity. As for Yokai Watch, I hope they'll do more with Thurston and Shuten. But with that, another yokai origin is complete.